Hi there, Wim here. Today we're headed to the closed off district of Stahlberg, known to locals as Open Sewer. Thanks to a clerical mix up, we've just inherited an empty apartment building here, and it'll serve as our new base and maybe even the start of our empire. To make it work, we'll need to scavenge for furnishings around the district, clean up, and lease out units to make a profit, all while surviving in a city plagued by addiction and disease. Today, we're taking a first look at Open Sewer, exploring the gritty neighborhood, uncovering its secrets, and finding out exactly what we're up against. Big thank you to the team at Loist Interactive. I really hope I'm not butchering that for the game key. All right, let's dive in. All right, so it looks like we have default difficulty, which is the most balanced, which is recommended for the first try. Okay. And then it looks like you can also do a custom. Oh, shoot. All right, so let's go back to default next. And let's write in our first and last name here, of course. Uh, we're going to do a random age. Let's see. And I guess we could go all the way. Let's keep it. There we go. I feel like I want to... I feel like the vibe that I'm feeling right now is someone who's a little bit younger, but also has been through life. <laughs> 30s. 30s seems like the right, right uh, spot for someone like that. And then... Uh, skip intro. No. Okay. We are dead and walking into the light. <laughs> um, while this loads, I just wanted to say too, so I am going to try to play with a controller, although you probably will see me uh, shift over to a mouse. It's only partial controller support right now, so that's also just a flag that it's going to be a little clunky. I did play a little bit of this prior to me bringing you guys along, so there is a little bit of clunkiness with kind of the turning motion of a controller, but outside of that it was looking pretty good, so I'm excited for this one. Looks like we just have an intro scene here. But yeah, I think um, this game has a lot of kind of interesting quirky things that you're doing. One is that you're you know, kind of renovating. Spooky. You're uh, renovating an apartment building. But I think you're also going into it with some of your own kind of like... Whoa. <laughs> some of your own kind of like addictions that you're going to have to work through. And then it's kind of like an urban survival game as well. Hello? Am I in the right place? Why is it so dark in here? I brought the red ones and... Hello? Anyone? The red ones? What does that mean? The city of Stahlberg has made great progress in dealing with its homeless crisis. Oh, so maybe we were homeless. Due to recent efforts to relocate all homeless individuals to the district of Open Sewer, locally known as Open Sewer, which is what we said at the beginning, Unfortunately, the open sewer area has been ravaged by some kind of fungal disease. Ooh. The disease is believed to be caused by green glowing mushrooms found all over the district. Awesome, and so we're like all jammed in here, stuck in here with all of these mushrooms. Now the government is planning to completely eradicate these mushrooms from the city. All individuals who have been diagnosed with fungal disease have been evacuated to a quarantined area within Obensor. 
as researchers are still trying to find a cure. Okay, so we have this fungal disease. The massive influx of new residents has created a major housing shortage in Obensur. Reports of violence, famine, poor hygiene, alcohol-related problems, and various diseases from locals are surfacing frequently. Entering or leaving the quarantine area is strictly forbidden. Okay, was that, was that someone moving? Or was that something moving? What was that? Gross. It's almost like it takes over. Which is creepy. Your skills affect quality of produced items. Okay. I'm assuming that's some of the uh, mushrooms. Maybe in those bags. Think positively. When you are at the bottom, the only way is up. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll go around. Move, okay. Interact, okay. Uh, oh, we're being watched. Hello. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Can't do anything with that. Uh, what do we have here? Can I get through here? No. Um, menu. Oh, okay. Inventory, map not available. What's that? Oh, it looks like I can maybe go in. Am I number 4027? I don't have a name, I'm just a number. All right, before I go in, let's just look around here. Empty cup. I feel like what I know about these games is you wanna collect everything. <laughs> Especially since I think what I saw in the trailer is that you can actually recycle like empty cans and stuff. And with these types of games, I feel like you just want to grab everything. Because sell stuff then. You need all the money you can get, right? Okay, I can't touch anything here. Okay, and you're probably kind of noticing a little bit right now of the clunkiness with the controller. I notice it more when I'm like trying to rotate the camera, so <laughs> bear with me, it's gonna be really slow. Let me look in there, no. Okay, anything else I can take? Apparently I can't take that, or that, or these boots. Okay, well, let's do it. 4027. Okay. Frick, where are we? Uh, hello? What's going on here? Interviewers. That's not creepy. Whimsy plays. We have to ask a few questions for your own safety. Oh God. Some of these questions are personal. This information is important for finding a cure for fungal disease. Okay. Are you ready? Um. Why do you have these screens? This is for security reasons. Are you ready? Uh. I'm ready. So, reason why you got relocated to Open Sewer. Okay, so we're kind of like now going through our backstory. So, are we a mushroom addict, which gives you a 30 plus mushroom addiction, a shroom shine enjoyer, so alcohol addiction plus 15, mushroom addiction plus 15, filthy poor, so smoking addiction and fungal disease. And I shouldn't be here. Random addiction. Oh gosh. All of these are not great.
I don't know what all goes into the fungal disease. I'm assuming with the addictions, we're just gonna have to kind of try to maintain it or get rid of it, which is not gonna be fun. And I feel like instead of having two things, even though they're lower, I feel like I would rather just focus on trying to get rid of one thing. So let's do this. Do you have any relatives, family, close friends? Okay, so my back my backstory again is what? So I have a family, I have someone, just a cat, or I'm alone. All of these choices have consequences. I'm gonna go with I'm alone. Lone wolf. Okay, do you have anyone who could pose a risk to you? <laughs> okay, so apparently I could have some history with a motorcycle gang, police, a crazy neighbor, or no one. I'm gonna say that I haven't really pissed anyone off, so I'm gonna go with no one. Although, if we ever play again, it might be kind of fun to check out one of these. Just because I am curious to see like what would happen, what what consequence would we have for the double the devil's angels to <laughs> to uh, I, I'm so curious what would happen there. Uh, okay, do you feel dizzy sometimes when drinking alcohol? So that's also an alcohol addiction. When smoking mushrooms almost every day oh my god look at all those and then never i feel healthy but you'll get a random addiction again hmm i don't know if this like adds on to my mushroom addiction hmm yeah i wish i understood a little bit more about how these actually like play out But I was also going to say, because I already have this, maybe I should do this one. Let's go here. Have you seen any hallucinations or something strange that has drawn your attention? Oh my gosh, so more addictions. Oh my gosh, okay. So black hallucinations, which is fungal disease, bright colors, mushroom addiction. Crazy neighbor, alcohol addiction, and smoking addiction, or nothing. I feel like I'm going to stay away from the fungal disease. Uh, am I like adding too much of the mushroom addiction though? Let's do the crazy neighbor. That's all. So you're going to get this unfinished block of flats. Okay. There has to be something wrong with this. Whatever. You get the whole building. It's yours. Its location should be marked on the map in front of you. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, why are you giving it to me? We don't have an answer for that because we don't decide these things. But I, we, <laughs> believe it's a mistake. Yeah, I do too. Thank you for calling that out. Because there is currently a severe shortage of vacant apartments and there are many people without a home. Okay. Uh, okay, well, what am I supposed to do with that tenement? Maybe you should go there and investigate it first. It is not really our job to say what you should do with it. Okay. Uh, how about you tell me something about Open Sewer? There are a few things that would be good to know. First of all, they have their own money called Open Sewer Coins. Original. <laughs> and then, or simply OC. Okay. Second, Open Sewer is full of sick and unique people, so be careful. And finally, stay away from green mushrooms. Well, I have an addiction, so that's going to be a little hard. Uh, can I go now? You can go, but before that, be sure to take your package with you. We'll send it to you in a moment. Wait at the vending machine. Uh, okay, bye. 
Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to peek in here a little bit more. Oh yeah, they don't want to talk to me anymore. Okay. Well, let's go. Here we go. New items added to your inventory. Okay, looks like we got some food. Bag of green mushrooms. Antidepressants. Band-aid. Matches. Cigarettes. Okay. Okay, and then it looks like I also have a map. Ah, okay, so... Our tenement, I'm assuming, is over there, circled. And then... Okay. It is pretty blocked off. Okay, interviewers told you that you got an abandoned and unfinished tenement that is probably in poor condition. They also gave you a map where the tenement location is marked. They recommend to examine it first and then decide what to do with it. Okay. Okay, got it. Let's do this. Glowing things can protect you from fungal disease. All right, we are in. Look at this place. Okay, so we have... Oh, we have a good chunk of money. So 200 OC, and then I don't know what RM would be, but we have 300 of that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a game where you just take everything. Trunk wood. Maybe we don't need that, but let's take this. How do you take it? Okay, maybe let's just take all for now. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to you. Oh, hi. Excuse me, lady. Are you the last one to come through the border? My husband was supposed to come here, but I haven't heard anything from him. I'm starting to get worried. It's been tough without him. You seem to be alone too. Do you know anyone who lives here? <laughs> no, I'm alone and I'll always be alone. It's none of your business and let's go with not really. Well, it's a good thing that none of your relatives have ended up here. Anyway, you must be hungry. You should go get some pea soup from the aid organization. Okay. We'll get some pea soup as a new objective. So she says it was called redemption something. You can't miss that big bazaar sign. Okay, yep, I see it over there to over there to the right. Uh it's right next to that. Okay. I also recommend collecting bottles. Okay, perfect. Thought so. There's a bottle return machine inside O Market. You get a few coins. That's how I started until I got a job. Oh, interesting. So I wonder if we can get a job here too. If you don't have a place to sleep, there's a cheap hostel in the Kohola building. Okay. It's not wise to sleep on the streets. You could get robbed or worse. I hope these tips will help you. Yeah, that is very helpful. Thank you. Also, you might be able to get some good advice from others, too. Okay. Uh, could you tell me the time, please? Well, clock is 12.13. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wow, look at this place. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, market. Okay. So that's where we can do the bottles, it looks like. What's that? <laughs> Medical expert. Okay. Okay. Let's open this up real quick. Advise you to collect the bottles and take them to the O market's bottle return. Tatiana, Tatiana, oh my gosh, I can't say that name. Tatiana, <laughs> Tati, let's call her that, told you that there's a soup kitchen run by some aid organization called Redemption somewhere near the Bazaar Gatehouse. You should get some free soup there. Okay, let's do that first and then 
we'll maybe just look around a little bit, go to the O market, and then I think we'll go figure out where our place is. Check what's happening over here. Okay. Wait, what's this? Dicula A. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at all this. Plant matter. Glowing mystery meat. Looks like it gives me... Okay. Let's just grab all of this for now. I wonder if I'm going to have to buy, like, um, a bigger backpack or something at some point to get more space. Okay, so we got some folks here by the fire. Hello, hello. I'll talk to you guys. L oh, God. Hello. Uh, I'm going to stay away from you. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, right. So, yeah, this is really all blocked off. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, this might be... Yeah, this is the place. Oh, okay, and then this is where... This is where she said that hostel was. Let's say. Preach prayers and pea soup. Okay. Alright, you look like the guy I need to talk to. Uh, hello? Oops, not that. Thirst. Okay. Oh, hey. Are you hungry? We've got some hot pea soup here. Would you like a bowl? Uh, I could use a hot meal, yeah. Well, you know, there's more to life than just food, my friend. Okay. You need more than just physical sustenance. You need spiritual nourishment, too. To truly savor this pea soup, you must pray for it. What? I'm grateful for the meal, but is that necessary? Sounds good. No thanks. Keep your soup. Pray for the pea soup. Oh, absolutely. You see, prayer is the key to unlocking the full flavor of the soup. By praying, you invite blessings into your life, and this pea soup becomes a sacred experience. Okay. Okay, let's just play along a little bit. Fine, I'll pray. Let's bow our heads for a moment and pray. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you for this incredible tasting pea soup. Thank you for all the flavors that you've added to this pea soup. I am so thankful to whoever we're praying to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Here's your pea soup. Enjoy, and may it nourish your body and soul. Thank you. Also, take this if you want to make your own pea soup. Okay. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Can I... Is this a chest? Can I see what's in here? Ooh. Okay. I don't know if I'm, like, stealing stuff or if this is all free to grab. It's back here. What's this? Mushroom coffee in a takeaway cup. Okay, so... Can I actually drink that? Will that... Kill two birds with one stone? Let's see. Oh my gosh, what is that? Ew! Oh, I have stove recipes. Oh, cool, so you can cook things. Okay, I don't know why I have that. Ew, and it looks like it has like a 10 plus for your eating it. That is disgusting. Okay. Let's drink this. Okay, that did not help, it looks like. So, let's also take a drink of water. There we go. Uh-oh, now I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. So there's a pharmacy there, and the O market is here. Okay, we'll go in there. I just want to take a peek at 
what else we have here. So, seeds. Okay. And then we have decorative plants and pots. Someone in, what are you doing? Are you like sitting at a desk? <laughs> What's this? Flower pot. Flower pot blueprint. Grab that. Okay. And what do you have? Cold drinks. Okay. What's over here? Decorative items. Okay, so we, once we actually start, you know, furnishing our apartments, we'll probably be here a lot. And then what else? So canned foods and jams. Okay. That feels like a luxury right now, but you know, we can uh, have that on our goals. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Fungal disease can be transmitted when you are near fungi or those infected. All right, so here's where we can get all of our food and drink from, which is nice. And then, what is all of this? Like there's like some soap, jars, candles. Ooh, flashlight. Flashlight. How much are the flashlights? 352 OC. Dang. Okay. There's a pair. Okay. What's that? Yarn roll. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, so that's where we check out. Coffee's over there. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Can we search this? Looks like we can. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Did I grab? Oh, I just I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of some of this stuff first. So that. Okay, let's do this real quick. Crayon bottles and cans here. Okay, so empty. Okay, well at least it keeps it in there. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Nope. I'm gonna put some stuff in here that I don't need. Probably this bag of mold. Gross. Watch, I'm probably gonna actually need that at some point. I feel like everything else we should keep for now. Okay. Okay, well. What's this? Ooh, nice. Okay. Owned. Take. Empty. I don't know why I grabbed that. I don't know why I grabbed that either. I don't know if I can have that. Um, okay. So, a lot of food here. Oh, and like a sales. Nice. Okay. Okay, I feel like let's go get... Oh, jeez. Oh. Sorry, dude. I thought, um, let's <laughs> get the crap out of me. Sorry. Place items. Sorry, dude. I thought... I thought that was just a little thing that I was getting as a first time first time patron. Okay. Uh pay. Seven bucks. Seven uh seven open sewer coins. That's ridiculous. Never getting coffee from you again. <laughs> okay. Residents bring their own furniture. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if we can, like, redecorate what they bring, though. That would be ideal. Oh, dang, it's night. Okay, um, we should probably get over to where we need to be. Oh, nice. It updates your uh, map with the different places that you... or what you discovered. So... Looks like we need to go. Oh gosh, that's really fast. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to pay to get through here. Well, hold on, let's actually just try it real quick. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna open. So, let's do this. There we go. I wonder if I'm gonna have to pay that every time. Okay. I think there's like another bazaar sign down there. Okay, this is it. Okay. Wow, there's just so much to look at and explore. I'm so excited to get into this, guys. Is there anything good in here? Okay. You know what? I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Should we see if there's like, um... Maybe a porta potty out here? So oh, perfect. Okay, there is. Ooh. I don't know if I should pee in there. Maybe quick? <coughs> oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it real quick. Ooh. Okay, okay, yep, we're gonna get out. Yep, we're gonna get out. Oh god, okay. Uh. Yep, that was bad. I wonder if we can remove them. There's probably a way, right? Okay. How do I get in here? Oh, up here. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, you can get prescriptions for stronger medicines from the doctor. All right, so we're finally in here. So find the tenement, new ob new objective, examine the apartment, zero of 17, geez. And then examine the stairwell. Is that this? No. Under construction, okay. Well, if anyone wants to mess with me. So, let's see. Okay, so this is the ground floor, first floor apartment, and it looks like looks like there was maybe another apartment over there. Okay. So I'm assuming maybe this would be my place, at least that. Pile of mail. Okay. We need to get rid of some of the stuff that I have. So looks like we have a little workbench there. Ooh, nice. Is this like a mattress? Can we sleep on it? Maybe not? Oh! What did that say? Mattress. Not tight enough. Okay, so we can sleep on it though, so that's good. Can I grab this? Nice. Okay, grab this. I can. Yes. What's this? Anything? I kind of want to see what this is. What's that? So, mail, life check, cat pizza, what? <laughs> oh, cat meat, gross. Okay, so I got a recipe and boiled macaroni. Okay, so what do we need here? Let's drink some water. I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. Gosh, another drink. Let's Um, do we have anything to eat? I should have got rid of that. Dang. Okay. Let's eat this candy bar. There we go. Okay. I need a flashlight is what I need. Okay, let's go continue exploring this building. I have 17 apartments I need to get to. Ooh, okay, so we have a lamp here we could maybe use, which is nice. What's that noise? What am I hearing? Okay, so there's an apartment over here. Oh, nice. There's like a fridge. Can you do anything with the fridge? I wonder if you can like fix things. Yeah, so I'm wondering what these were supposed to be. Like windows maybe? That have now been boarded up. Like trash. Okay. 
Ooh, we can get in there, I bet with our sledgehammer. So that'll be something we'll come back to. Ooh, nice. And then a bed frame. Okay, so we'll definitely have to grab that. What's this? Like a locker? Yeah. Got here. So... Okay, I'm gonna stop grabbing stuff because we'll just have to come back and get all of this stuff. But yeah, there's a bunch of bottles in here. Take that. I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot of blanks. Oh, cool. I wonder if you can pick that up. Okay, and then there's something in here. Ooh, soap. We'll want that for sure. More planks. Let's just grab those real quick as we go. Grab that soap. Oh, full. Okay. What do we got here? Some chains? That's creepy. Um, so did that? Did I get everything in here? Maybe we should do it, huh? Try it. See how this works? Okay, let's do it. Nice. We can do it. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. Get this. Okay, can we get in? Perfect. Damn the apartments. Okay, so now we've officially got this one. What's this? Wooden palette blueprints. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's take. Oh my gosh, so much stuff here. Ooh, like a little. Oh, that's cool. You can cook on that. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay, so we'll definitely want to grab that if we can. Canned meat. We have a nice little bed here, so that's... We can sleep now. Ooh, what's this? Like a little heater? A good one. Maybe I'll stay here for now, huh? Oh, that looks like someone has been living here. Examine the stairwell is complete. Uh-oh, what is this? Uh-oh. Oh god, who's this dude? <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I think this is actually a perfect spot to leave it for our first exploration of Oban Sewer. I am super excited for this game. I cannot tell you how much I enjoy kind of concepts like this of taking something that's kind of old and ruined and trying to fix it and make it better. So I'm really excited that we have literally an entire building to do this with and just there's so much to explore. There's so much to grab. And, you know, we have just started at the beginning of all this and apparently we have a dude already living in our apartment, so we're gonna have to figure out what happens with him. But I think I'll leave it at this little cliffhanger and we'll have to jump back in because I absolutely want to continue playing this and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this too. So with that guys, thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.